Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss about light and color of light. This will be a short video because I'm only focusing on few important characteristics that we take it for granted. Let's get into it. Light is the only electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by the human eye. Light is composed of particles called photons. Matter is composed of particles called electrons, protons, neutrons. Now, the visible light comprises only a tiny fraction of the entire electromagnetic radiation spectrum. Yet, it contains the only region of frequencies to which the rods and cones of the human eye will respond. The wavelength that humans are typically able to visualize lie in a very narrow range between 400 to 700 nanometers. Humans can observe and respond to the stimuli created by visible light because the eyes contain specialized nerves endings that are sensitive to this range of frequencies. However, the remainder of the electromagnetic spectrum is invisible. Light is truly a strange thing. Not all light can be seen. Light spectrum can be broken into radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. These groupings are referred as electromagnetic spectrum. Light is similar to water or even sound because it has the wavelength characteristics, frequency and speed. For example, light can be created by electron oscillating. What happens here is that oscillating electron creates magnetic and electric fields. Scientists call this electromagnetic wave or simply light. Each color in visible light has different wavelength. So does the electromagnetic spectrum. Light is the fastest thing in the vacuum of space in our known universe. Even the radio wave, which is least energetic, travels at an incredible speed, about 300 million meters per second. We think in the dark there is no light, but it is all around us. Let me explain. In the daytime, we will be able to detect any animals or birds due to reflection of sunlight of them. In the dark, the same animals will emit infrared light, but our eyes cannot see it. Using the infrared equipment, we will be able to detect the heat signature of the animals and birds. Similarly, if we apply the X-rays on these same animals, we see different aspects of them. We, can, we all can see the night sunlight from behind us, reflecting planets like Mercury, Venus, Jupiter and Saturn, and our moon to the naked eye. We see distant stars because those lights have been traveling for many years before reaching through the Earth's dusty atmosphere and into our visible spectrum. Scientists have invented infrared telescopes where we can see through nebulae, where star forming clusters and dust to witness birth of new stars and planetary disks. I want to discuss about redshift. Universe is expanding since birth, about 13.8 billion years. The space between galaxy clusters is expanding at faster than speed of light. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How come something expands faster than speed of light? Nothing can move faster than speed of light in the vacuum of space, but space itself can run away faster than speed of light. As the universe is expanding, the light waves get stretched out. For example, the galaxies that are moving away from us and their light stretches out. As they move away from us, light becomes longer wavelengths and scientists call this as red shifter. Some galaxies have gone far away, the, red, the light has stretched and cannot be seen as a visible light but as infrared through heat signatures. There are so much we cannot see in our universe. We can only see 5% of the entire universe. There are dark matter about 25% and 70% of dark energy gravity that our human can, eyes cannot see. Therefore, be humble. Color of light is white. Sir Isaac Newton in 1660 with series of experiments demonstrated the color. It is a big topic. However, let me be brief here. Let's break the light in 
to what we can see in terms of spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet, which we call rainbow colors. Colors have numbers and combination of numbers give you actual color. So the light energy coming from an object has wave spectrum. These wave spectrums using the numbers can be quantified to measure the exact color. Suppose if you look at a red object or even a traditional apple, which is largely red. Is it apple truly red? Not really. We intrinsically value the property of traditional apple and call it red because it possesses that color. Here is the fun fact. When the light illuminates a room, we see so many objects with different colors. This is because white light comprises of all the rainbow colors in its property. When the white light shines on, a, on the apple, it absorbs all the rainbow colors but rejects red. What we are seeing is the rejected color of apple, which is red. So the apple has absorbed all spectrums of light and rejected red. Basically, the apple sends back the red light back to you in true nature. An apple is yellow, orange, green, blue, indigo and violet, but no red in it. Our retina absorbs the rejected color red and shows that apple is red. If you can take the apple into the light source, like the old yellow sodium lamps, which does not contain red, then the traditional color of apple will actually look black. This is because apple has absorbed all colors and nothing to show and not no red uh, spectrum. So black is the absence of color where light becomes nothing back to your eyes. So an object that you see is not really its color. Scientists have invented telescope that can capture light spectrums from billions and trillion kilometers from Earth. We have witnessed how matter interacts with light and changes the gases in the Earth atmosphere, scatter blue wavelength from sunlight. Therefore, we see blue light in the daytime and red during the sunrise or sunset. Now, you know, on our everyday life, we are bombarded by enormous spectrum of electromagnetic radiation, only a portion of which we can actually see as visible light. When we step out, vast majority of light visible to us is emitted from sun, which also produces many other frequencies of radiation that do not fall into our visible range. At night, natural light is produced by celestial bodies such as moon, planets and stars. In addition, periodic aurora borealis, which is the northern lights, and the occasional comet and meteor shower. Other natural sources of include meteorological lightning or volcanoes, forest fires, plus some biochemical sources of visible light. Like the biological light sources include with familiar lightning bugs, we call it fireflies, and more exotic glows from the sea, which we see jellyfish, bacteria, algae, and some species of fish. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share, only by sharing others can learn. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do now. More to come in the future. Be safe and cherish natural order of science. Bye now.